Okay, hello everybody. Um, I don't have a massive amount of time this week. I'm not going to be able to work on the Numble due to work stuff. So, what I thought I would show you though is I did take the time. I'm going to start prepping the foot switch, uh, and uh, and I will um, show that kind of quickly built. Shouldn't take too a huge amount of time, and the video should be fairly short. But at least this week you get a little bit of Dumble progress. So, the foot switch does incorporate. It's going to need two switches. I've got a couple of single pull, single throw foot switches here that I got off of. I think it was Mouser. Uh, and then I also am going to need the, the same, the similar kind of five pin, but the opposite end of the cable for the uh, five pin XLR. And it has the same five pins. And I also need two uh, of the same 0.1 microfarad capacitors. Uh, and I will kind of show an overlay of all of that here in a second in the foot switch, as well as a blue and a red LED. Green, LED I'm sorry. A green and a red LED, which I have them somewhere around here, but I will, you'll see that that's obviously not a big deal. And LED is in there. But um, so I'll be putting. Uh, so what I'm gonna plan on do is I've got I taped put some masking tape over this so they can kind of mark my spots. But you'll see here I've got oops, this is the spot where I'm gonna be drilling a smaller tap hole, and then I have some greenly punches, and I'll punch the hole the same size hole that I did for the other one, and this guy will go inside of there. I'm going to be doing it, uh, probably doing it this way, which may seem kind of counterintuitive to have the push button at the top, I guess, maybe not, but I, I'd want these pins more accessible from the bottom side like that. So I'll be doing that. Then I will drill um, the holes for these. And the LEDs will also need to go there, but what I wanted to do was first get these holes. I don't know. I think I might put the LEDs slightly above the holes for the, um, that, that will go for the, um, oh, sorry, I'm not even thinking right. No, all I need on this top is that these will be the two holes for the, foot switch and these are the two holes for the LEDs so that you'll be able to see which one you're doing when you stomp on it. So uh, I just decided to make it roughly symmetrical. That's not necessarily the mandatory way but I do like the foot switches down low and there was just a ton of space and I'll probably try and do some kind of engraving or something here in the middle that says overdrive and preamp boost or vice versa whichever way that ends up being. But um, So all right that's that. I will come back here shortly after I've drilled those holes and show you what that looks like. All right I've got most of my holes drilled. Um, I got the uh, the holes for the LEDs. I did go and grab those, but here's an example. The LED will come up from the bottom like so, and I will have a foot switch that will come up from the bottom like so, and we should be in, in business. Now, I'm having a bad shop day today, so I will show you I'm not going to be able to finish because this is what happens when you forget to uh, tighten down your, I know I'm dropping everything, Tighten down your drill, your drill piece with a clamp or a vise. Is you let your clamp spin and make your foot switch that was sitting next to it turn into two pieces. So uh, I now get to order a new foot switch. So <laughs> make sure you're paying attention to these things, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then the other problem I'm having is I bought. If you remember, I bought some screws that I used to mount the uh, the back piece for the the same thing. You know, this guy. Uh, I can't find them anywhere now. So my shop is a disaster as usual, and I can't find them. So I'm kind of stuck at this point. I won't be able to continue uh, totally, but I will. What I'm going to do is at least really quickly sh uh, mount this guy and um, and uh, show you kind of the insides of how that will look. We'll just do that kind of real time together right here. But um, I am no longer able to uh, finish this foot switch until I order a new foot switch part. And then I've got to go run back to the store and either, either spend some time and find it or run back to the store and get my specific stuff that I seem to have misplaced on these two screws because they were kind of a custom really weird the size of these holes uh, you know are really small and they're probably metric but I found out some self-tapping screws that will uh, kind of tap into the plastic housing and tighten it in pretty well I think so but at any rate so I'm having a bad day so far everybody has those days all right so there you go that's what that'll look like and we will have our resistor coming through like this so effectively it's probably a little out of focus there, but um, the get that. that might be just too close. It's about as close as it's going to get. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So that side's done. I have the. I was trying to basically get those screws so that I could measure the size of hole I need for this guy, or not the size of hole. I, I need to tap some more holes for the screws, and I wanted to line those up. So I'll show you that. So this guy, basically, I need to have a two holes in here, one here and one here, if I remember right. Or actually, the opposite, they're here and here. But since I can't find the screws, I can't tr drill the holes because I don't know what size drill bit I used last time. So I will uh, potentially be back a little later if I find those screws. If not, I might be back after I run to the store and buy some more again. But uh, wish me luck. Thanks.
So I found the screws for that. As you can see, I've gotten this attached in now. I've just kind of temporarily placed in my LEDs. There's a green one here, red one over there on the far side. And I've got the switch. I've ordered a new switch since I was bonehead, as you heard, and destroyed the other switch. So that will be arriving shortly. But since I'm going to be out, as I mentioned, unavailable to do some videos this week, we will resume that later. Um, but I did want to get a video out this week. So this box is basically ready. I've now got four screws. And for now, to protect that, I will probably put you know this in and save those parts that are in there. These four uh, screws that go with that. And then that will be pretty much it for this video. So I apologize for the short video this week and that we didn't get much done. But we are making headway. So it continues to be a forward progress progressing march. Uh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate all of the... Uh, uh, comments and, and all the subscriptions that are coming in. I would love to see more uh, people enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. So please let me know what else that you would like to see. Thanks. Like, thumbs up, subscribe. Cheers, everybody.